Hi, my love, beautiful souls of Mystic Worlds of Love and Love, and I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Please take a resonance and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Quite reading, not for Okay, we have hot weather coming out right away. Okay, some kind of hot weather. We're going to dig into this. Holy Spirit, angels, and this high school light in the most high. Please give me prayer and acronym for the question of what's going on with this hot weather. I'm hearing a heat wave. You may be heating up. Okay, hot temperatures. This could be also your temperature going up. Um, when you, when your temperature, when you feel hot, um, that is a, a sign of a spiritual awakening as well, or coming into union with the twin flame, or you're coming into union with your higher self, divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay. Um, when you feel like you're hot, burning up, sweating, okay. Heavy night sweats. Um, that is a spit. It, it's a sign of a spiritual awakening and coming into union. Your body is changing and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. What else? What else going on here? Hot weather, sunny weather. Oh, I wish it gets hot. I like hot weather, not too hot. I, I like it. I like it hot, but not humid hot. When it gets really humid here. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? In hot weather, warm, warm temperatures. Okay, I'm hearing it's getting hot in here. Okay, people may see that you're hot energy too, like fire energy. What? Is, oh my gosh! Damn it! Hot. It's getting hot in here. What's that song lyrics? There's a message there. Oh, okay, it's from Nelly. Okay, Nelly. Nelly's coming out significantly here. Um, we have father wounding. So somebody's healing some kind of father issues. Okay, somebody can have like some kind of um trauma from father. Okay, so a lot of times you hear like mother issues, like you know, healing mother issues. This person, somebody's healing father issues. Okay, somebody wants to get closer with their father, work things out with the father, some kind of working things out with the father. Hot in here, so hot in here, so hot in here. I was like, good gracious, ask bodacious. Flirtatious, trying to show faces, looking for the right time to shoot my steam, you know? So looking for the right time to flash some keys that um, I'm leaving, please believe in. Me and the rest of my heathens. So heathens is coming out, you guys. Heathens. Check it. Got it lo locked at the top and four seasons. Somebody's at four seasons. Penthouse, rooftop in, birds I feed in. No deceiving, nothing up my sleeve, no teasing. I need you to get up on the dance floor. Give that man... What he's asking for because I feel like busting loose and I feel like touching you and can't nobody stop the juice so baby tell me what the use it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes I'm getting so hot I want to take my clothes off so we have twin flame energy coming out here too okay take off clothes they want you to take off clothes it's getting hot in there they see you sexy and uh, like you know see you this could be also like somebody could be a father figure too and like you're healing that and it could be hard for you to get close to men okay because you're um healing that wound Okay. You're healing that wound. Okay, what else going on here? What's going on here? Somebody may like Nelly. I love Nelly. Okay, I love Nelly. Grounded, needed. Okay, I was saying that earlier too. Grounded, needed. You guys, we all need grounding, okay? We all need a grounding. We need to be planted into the earth. We need to root ourselves into the earth so we can actually, you know, heal, grow, and ascend. And it, I don't even know how to explain it. There's so much importance of grounding, okay? I used to not be grounded. I did not realize I had to um, ground myself and stay, root myself into nature, into the ground. I didn't realize that, and it's so important. Once I realized it, I am feeling so much more calmness, um, patience, balance, harmonized at peace with myself and people around me, inner peace. So um, maybe that's too, maybe there's some kind of grounding your father needs to do too because I just keep hearing father issues. Somebody had some father issues and you're trying to heal from this. Lake Tahoe, size seven to nine shoe, okay? Shoe size seven to nine, Lake Tahoe. Somebody's father could have been like locked up or gone out of their life a lot, and that is why you're trying to um, heal this wound. This father could have been abandoned. It could have been abandoned. You could have been abandoned by your father, or your father was out of the picture. I'm also hearing a mother kept you you away from your father, and so you felt abandoned. But it was your mother. There was a mother that kept you away from your father. Okay, your mother was the one that gaslighted you and like manipulated and bullied you away from your father. And like that's why there's some kind of grounding here and like you're like healing and stuff because you were kept away from a father or um this father this mother could have said that this father was a bad father 
or a bad dad or didn't want to be in your life, but he, I'm hearing something about he did want to be in your life, okay? Or he was trying to get his shit together, okay? Something about getting his shit together. Some of you left-handed. Disney World, we have one, two, three, and we have Alice in Wonderland. If you're healing these father issues, this father issues was rooted that they were rooted because your mother, okay? So what mother? Okay, I'm also hearing there could have been a really good mother and this father wasn't this father abandoned you. Okay, so we have two coming out here. You just like your mother was really good and like wanted you be a part wanted your dad to be a part of your your life and your dad abandoned you, okay? Your dad had other priorities, other things that was happening in his life that he couldn't be in your life, okay? Hearing addiction, in and out of jail, prison, okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of trauma here with this and uh, wounds, and it's it's healing, healing. Always on the go. This father could always been on the go, okay. Was never around. It could be a father was a semi truck driver, okay, or always gone traveling. Could never be around, and you just felt abandoned. You felt like they weren't there, weren't there to give you the love that you wanted or needed. This father could have been a warlock. Is a warlock misused donations lack mindset so they, they like misused donations this is somebody that could this this father could also be like a uh could be a pain handler or somebody that like needs somebody all the time always going from place to place to place can't settle down okay i'm kind of like a nomad almost but not a nomad like a yeah, like a, a nomad, okay? A nomad, but this is a karmic nomad, okay? Somebody that just could never sit still, could never, like, really be in one spot, could never, like, you know, want to be going around, but more of a karmic nomad. From home to home to home. Okay, you could have many brothers and sisters, too, that you don't even know about. Okay, you may, this, fa this father may have gotten other people pregnant, too. And so you may have siblings um, that you don't even know about. Another dad could have adopted you later on in life. There's another dad that possibly adopted you in later on in life. Okay. Piot, spiritual retreat. So you may go on a spiritual retreat or it's time to um, have a spiritual retreat. See, this father stuck to the back roads, two, two, two. Okay, they were trying to stay alive. So this father also could have had a warrant, okay? It was always like on the run, running for the law. Okay, could not stay in one place because he was running from the law. Someone could have actually act addiction too. You could be an adult too, but this is what you grew up with and you're trying to heal this father wounds, okay? This father trauma. Red rum drained by energy vampires, so red rum. Okay, that this could be energy vampire. Your father could have been an energy vampire too, or psychic vampire. Some of your gifts do come from your father, even though you didn't know, especially if he's a warlock. Um, some of your magical gifts do come from him. Okay, still like... I'm like, if you would even grow, I'm hearing somebody did not grow up around a father, even though you didn't grow up around this father, um, you still inherited some of his traits, okay? The good traits. But still, there could be some negative traits too, but so you guys need to make sure you stay balanced, that's why spirit's saying ground, okay? Because even if you weren't, um, learn, if you weren't around him and learn behavior, there's still those traits without, um, realizing it, okay? The blood, the DNA, okay? Healing that DNA, Okay, you may have found out too, maybe you went to the hospital, maybe you had to go to the hospital, get blood transfusion or something happened, and you needed um, blood type and you didn't know your blood, your dad's blood type or your mom. Something happened there and that's how you found out that you could have been adopted or that you, um, finding out your, who your father was. Okay, so finding your father out in the, uh, at a year, later age in life. It's not who you think it is. So maybe you thought your father was someone else. Okay, you didn't realize who it was. You know, this adopted father, you, you know, this adopted father, but then you're finding out that you had a different father. I'm also hearing this father may have kept stayed out of your life, too. Um, maybe had all this shit going on, warrants, whatever going on, but maybe he stayed away. I'm hearing something about staying away because he knew that if he was around, he would actually cause more trouble, more, more drama and more trouble in your life and more trauma in your life. So he thought it was easier for him to stay away, thinking it would be easier and better if he kept his distance and away from everything because something about he could have been in some kind of um organized crime or involved in some kind of stuff or act addiction and he didn't want he, he didn't want you and your mother to be brought down okay with him or held back from anything okay held back 
you called your energy back. Calling your energy back is defeating them, okay? Something about calling your energy back. Your mom could have too. Okay, two, one, two, one. You may look like your father and not even realizing it. Your father may love you in a different way, but doesn't know how to truly love. He wasn't loved. Okay, this father also wasn't loved, and that's why. He thought the best way to love you, to love, was it far away from distance, okay? Best way to love, to give you the love is to distance you. Distance from you and your mom or distance from you and your friends or your family. To give you the life that you were meant to have. Somehow he couldn't give it to you because he was always on the run. He was always um, on the go. Remember, on the go. So anxious all the time. He was so anxious all the time. He could have been a covert narcissist as well. Involved. There's a silence is a power. See? That's why he could have been silence. Okay, power to give you the power. Give you what you need. Allow you to be who you want to be. Horses are pretty significant. I'm hearing he could have been hunted down as well for his involvement in things. Okay, he could have been hunted down for his involvement in things. It's hard for you to fall in love. It's hard for you to have a relationship with a man because of it. You could also have found the right man, too. Some of you wanted the best for you, okay? I'm hearing this father does want the best for you, and that's why he stayed out of your life, okay? some There's a father that stayed out of your life, too, because he wanted the best for you. He may not show it. He may not be able to tell you, but he did want the best for your life. See? Escaped. Hideaway. Adventurous person escaped, Okay. But again, like I said, if he has kids with more than one person too, he was trying to, I mean, also hearing trying to escape child support, trying to escape his responsibility. This father didn't want to grow up. He didn't want to um, lose his freedom. Okay? He didn't want to grow up. He didn't want to lose his freedom. And this was as a child. And as well, you may have, you may have extra siblings that you don't even know about. Okay? Family members you don't know about. He was always on the run. He said his father was always being hunted down. Okay, he always had warrants. Couldn't stay in one spot. On a hot pursuit. Been ghosted. Cut off. Blocked. Lost. He's lost in the darkness as well. You have the light. He could have been threatened. Okay, been threatened. You could end up moving away with your mom or your mom moved away. Got a new home. Relocated. Physically changed locations that he could have physically changed locations too. Retaliation. Somebody's trying to retaliate. Come against you. He was running, avoiding. Okay, running, avoiding his consequences, his responsibilities. As I said, any pretending, fake, living beyond means. He's dealing with the consequences as well, okay? This father's dealing with the consequences. You've been you've been protected by Archangel Michael this whole time. Protection. Okay. He's dealing with the consequences. And this is him seeing you grow up and being a woman or a man and growing up to be the be best version of yourself and being successful and looking um, you know, people looking up to you and stuff like that, and he's not being able to be part of your journey. Okay. Um, maybe once you I'm also hearing if you're you're healing this father wounds, maybe one part of your life, if he changes and turns around, he may be back in. Okay, but something about he needs to awaken. He needs to do a lot of things. He needs to grow up. He needs to take responsibility, um, you know, accountability for his actions as well. There's some kind of drastic cut off, extreme, harsh. Because you went through a social ascension. And he may need to go through this ascension. He may need to wake up. Spiritual awakening. Could be dealing with legal, legal situations. Paperwork filed. Yeah, see, it's been silence. Okay, quiet time. 
Okay, he could be deal. He could be in denial, not wanting to deal with his his like I said, his uh, his actions, the things in his life. Not he's in denial, not facing the truth, rational or reasoning. I'm getting Peter. I'm getting Peter Pan energy. Okay, he could be chasing the thrill too and hanging out with drama queens, thirsty chaos, doing chaos. I am hearing. I'm hearing he doesn't want to grow up. He like he's Peter Pan. Peter, Peter Pan energy. Peter Pan energy. That's what I heard. See, you inspire people. Neptune. God is helping you, assisting you on your way, protecting you. God is trying to show this father something. God does want you and this father, um, or wants you to heal from this father abandonment, his father wounds. Is showing you ways how to heal that. Some kind of back plan. He always had a back plan. Non-family members. He could have chose non-family members over you or your mom. Was chosen gangs, groups, people. Distant relative. Okay, could assist you, help you. He could have went with a distant relative. A couple more to close this out. There's a grandma. A grandma could be telling this father too, hey, you need to grow up. You need to get your shit together. Your child is um, needing you. This adult child needs you now. Um, you want to be part of this child's life. You need to, you need to um, change your ways. Okay, it's time, it's time to own up. It's time to take accountability. And there's the father coming out. The father could be watching. Or looking. Could be looking for you now. You could be looking for him. So there's a family situation because we have grandma, we have um, distant relative, we have father, we have cousin coming out. And he was lying a lot. Okay, there could have been a lot of lies. I'm hearing he didn't know how to love and I just heard like, um, it was crazy because my civil sister sent it to me. I heard Lil Wayne's song, but she sent it to me a different way. Um... Need a love? Or how was it go? Can't think of it. How to love? That's what I just heard. How to love? How to love? Um, Lil Wayne song. He just didn't know how to love. This person's gonna regret what they've done. This father, okay, this father, father figures and regret for what they've done, okay, for not having you um be in his life. He's in big regret for not having you in his life. He's disappointed in himself, disappointed in things, because something about some kind of awakening too. This could be some kind of awakening happening, and now he's like having to live with it. Okay, now he's have to work on some kind of shadow. His shadow. You'll continue to shadow work. Someone wants you to forgive them past mistakes. Okay, this father wants you to forgive them for his past mistakes. Thank you. Don't believe any word this person has to say. Liar. So this person could have lied in the past. Are you dealing with a liar? You were earth angel sent from above to help this father, to help your father to find the light. Your father could have been in pure darkness, okay? This father could have been in pure darkness and you were meant to, you were born to bring this father into the light. You were born to be this earth angel to wake him up, to find the light, okay? Your master alchemist, dream co decoder, shaman, oracle, high priestess, high priest. Wow. This person, you are a hidden angel sent from above, earth angel. And this father didn't know that. Okay, now it could be too late. But still, you could be praying, helping, like manifesting. Okay, I feel like I'm going to end this. Yeah, look at main female and daughter relationship. As I said, this father could have been in and out of jail. Had a lot of court situations going on here. Okay, could have been out of jail. That could be why you feel abandoned. That's why there's so much trauma and you're healing from this. Working hard. Your mom could have worked really hard to support you. Okay, busted her ass off. Non-stop working. Some kind of expectation. 
Your mother thought she could probably change this man, but she couldn't. She's in denial. Something about this father, too, wants to get back with your mom now. Something about your mom, okay? Wants to get back with your mom. Is wanting to be a part of your life, even if you're an adult, child, whatever, wants to be a part of it. Um, wants to get back with your mom. Your mom struggled a lot, but your mom did really well, okay? She raised you right, okay? That's what I'm hearing, too. She raised you right. Okay, if it was the other one where the mother kept the uh, child away, um, she kept you away for a good reason. But also, like I said earlier, there's some kind of gaslighting and manipulating, too. Um, there's a scenario there. Um, that mother's karmic. I feel like your mom possibly did a really good upbringing for you. Okay, try to give you the best, you know, your spiritual, mental, physical needs. This father was wearing a masquerade. Okay, was hiding who he really was. Your mom didn't know that, you didn't know that, nobody knew that. I'm also hearing he was hiding from himself. He didn't even know who he was, okay? He didn't even know what he wanted, okay? He didn't know how important your mom was to him. He didn't know how important you'd be to him. He didn't know that your mom was nurturing you to be him. He felt, I'm also hearing about this father, felt like that um, your mom was just like all the rest. But she wasn't, she was different. Okay, she could be an earth angel too. Anchor, settling down, stability, faithfulness, okay? He wants to now settle down. He wants to anchor. Maybe he is. Maybe whatever he's went through. Maybe he is healing. Maybe he's going through awakening. And he actually wants to settle down and actually have a life and like a family. And I'm hearing working on something, okay? Really working on it. This is grounded. Like I said earlier, getting grounded. Anchor themselves in. Wants to support. This could be supporting you in a distance. Trying to support a wanted to come in support. Dog, loyalty, love, friendship. Okay. And we have the woman coming out. Feminine um, empathy and softness. Your mom, you are very soft, very loving, very um, kind. Empaths, both could be empaths. Um, and then somebody wants to gift you and your mom. Beauty, fulfillment, gift. Continue healing. Continue doing this, okay? You were, uh, you were raised... Good, kind, loving. And then he sees that. No, I'm not. I'm, it's 23 minutes. I don't know why. I just, You know why I keep getting cards? You guys have the time as the reading's over, but I just keep getting cards because I love shuffling cards. I feel like it's already coming out here. I could have used those cards too. Ten, ten. We have new beginnings. Your angels are working hard to protect you from harm. Everything will be okay. Rapid accelerating. Two forty-two. Positive outlook can bring good things into your life. Good place for romance, honest relationships, reunion with twin flame and balance. Cancer, Pisces, Leo, and Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Leo, and Aquarius. Number five. I love you. Love, peace, like you. Namaste.